Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lex and I would absolutely love it if you love this content, if you want to support me, show me that you love this content. I would absolutely love it if you would hit that like button, please share the videos, comment and subscribe. It inspires me to keep creating and it lets me know that you guys enjoy this stuff. So today we are going to get into episodes 18, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know why my throat, okay. We are going to get into episodes 18 and 19 of Love Island UK. If you're looking for the USA recap, that should also be up at the time of this video going up. So please check it out. I have a playlist on my channel of Love Island recaps and reviews and all of the US and UK recaps are there. Let's get into it. So we start off episode 18 with the new bombshells, Matilda and Connor coming in. And as you remember, they have this date where they have to pick three individual people to have a little date with as everybody else watches from the top. Was Connor and Matilda are ready for their dishy dates. Matilda says she shared some absolutely unforgettable times with Ronnie. And if Ronnie could remember a single one of them, he'd probably agree. Matilda Draper, isn't it? <laughs> Ronnie boy! You all right? Good How are you? Yeah, good, good, good. Do I keep going or leave? So, first date is Grace and Connor. Uh, Connor reveals his first relationship was at 26. And he's, I think, 28. So he's a bit older. Um, and he says he wants two or three kids. Um, overall, they're just chatting. I don't think it's really going anywhere. Obviously, Grace and Joey are a fake couple that was already together. So uh, next we have Matilda and Omar. So Omar says, you know, in this date that his type is a pretty face and, but personality is really big. He does care about personality. Omar is very into Matilda. He is staring into them eyes. He is, baby, he is mesmerized. He is complimenting this woman. So I definitely feel like Omar is feeling it. It's very clear. He, he wants to, you know, Sean and Matilda are next, and Sean says he's getting good vibes. He asked Matilda what her favorite sweet is, because you know Sean is the sweets man, okay? That's his, that's his line. Um, and he starts feeding her steak, and she says that he has a genuine and kind heart, so it is definitely looking like Matilda is feeling him a little bit, which I'm like, okay, I want Sean to find someone. Sean's so cute to me. I want him to get someone. So Nicole and Connor have a date next, uh, and all I got out of this conversation is that Connor plays rugby. I don't think we saw anything else, so that's that's all we got there. Mimi and Connor have their dates and she tells him that she's coupled with Io, but it's very clear in this date. She's shut off. Like she doesn't even try to talk to him like that. There's no connection there. I think Mimi's head is so fixated on Io and why? I don't know, but that's where she's at. And then Matilda and Will have a conversation and I feel like it goes nowhere. Like I feel like literally I, in my notes I wrote eh because I got nothing. It gave me nothing. So Matilda does reveal that she knows Ronnie, I believe it was, because she used to see Ronnie's friend. And there was not much there. So Sean gives us a little feedback. He says he's feeling really confident about Matilda. He's talking with all of the girls. The girls are so excited. And girl, me too. I, I love leaving everything that she's just described as you. Honestly, I don't just think I know. God. No, nah, she's a nice girl, isn't she? She said she liked fizzy sweets, mm -hmm. and I guess one, watermelon slice. <laughs> That's, That's a hard one, one. Nick. Yeah, Put your grafting boots on now. 100%. You go for it. This whole time, I've been waiting mm -hmm. for stuff and let mm -hmm. stuff go. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm jumping You've been on involved this. in other no. things that exactly. you've been thinking yeah. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. you been on. Watch Sean to find someone. And they are encouraging him. They are saying, look, you are Matilda's type to a T on paper. So as I said, I really hope she's genuinely into him, and it's not just something weird. So Uma and Will are talking as well. And Uma says she feels secure in the connection she and Will has. Nice to have reassurance, I think. I'm quite like disheartened that you feel like you need reassurance. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm not doing enough. No, she's to... nice to hear. I, I don't think I've heard it yet, probably. I'm not really. Um, but he says like he wishes that he got a little more reassurance 
from her because she never says it. And that's true. I feel like Uma is a tough nut to crack. She's a hard book to read. Like, I feel like it was never clear. Do you like Io? Do you like Will? Like, I don't know. I feel like Uma's very like, mm, like she does not wear her cards on her sleeves. So she's like very shocked that Will is asking for reassurance. She's like, oh, like I didn't think you would feel that way. Like, do you feel good now? And Will's like, yeah, but like, sometimes it's still just nice to hear it. And I don't know. I, I think that could definitely be a problem in the future for Uma because yeah, like, of course your partner wants to know, like, do you like them? <laughs> like, do you like me? Are you into me? Like, you can't just assume people will know the way you feel. So Sean and Matilda have another little chat. It's cool. I hope really? you like to go. Obviously, I was thinking, like, oh, I've got to hit it off with someone, surely. I've done decisions based on, like, what I thought was genuine and it hasn't worked out for me. Mm. And then, like, coupled up with, like, friendship things, and I'm just mm. thinking, oh, God. And obviously, you've come through the door. And uh, Sean is talking, basically, about his history in the villa, how he was in a lot of friendship couples, how he kind of put, like, his heart on his sleeve, and it kind of backfired for him. So he's really flirting with her though. Like he's really flirting with her. And Matilda says like, look, most girls like the bad boy type. I don't understand that though. And so she is definitely implying that she likes Sean. Um, so we go to the next morning and Sean starts the morning off giving Matilda, making Matilda coffee, which is cute. And again, we see more of Will and Will is saying that he really wants to take things to the next level with Uma. But, you know, Uma's kind of unsure, like she's talking with the girls and she's just unsure of where it's at. And it just seems like with Will and Uma, it's definitely coming down to this weird thing of like where I don't think Will is sure of if Uma likes him. And Uma seems very like, I'm reserved, I'm a slow burner. And I I'm gonna be honest, I don't think Uma really likes him. Like, I, I don't think Uma likes him like that. I don't think Uma likes any of these guys. <laughs> I don't really know why her type is or what she's looking for, but I'm not seeing that she really likes Will personally, personally, I but I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, I just feel that with Uma, like, it's not a hundred percent there with Will. But my question is like, what, like who is it a hundred percent there for? Like what is Uma's type? Because I also don't really think that she liked Io either. So I'm just like, mm. and we don't really see her talk with anyone else. But anyway, Jess and Connor, they do have a chat and they basically chat about family. Um, Connor does say that Jess is kind of the first person in the villa that he feels like matched his energy. Um, so, you know. And Matilda also pulls Will over for a chat. And, you know, Matilda's like, oh, like your energy. Like she makes some comments about his energy. And he's like, well, I just play it cool. And honestly, Will is boring. <laughs> Will is really boring. He reminds me a lot of Marco from last season of Love Island. USA where he just like doesn't say much he's really dry um and Matilda does ask him his usual type like who he's typically attracted to and I don't know he like doesn't want to say it but he admits that he is usually attracted to girls that look like Matilda so anyway so we get on to this little kiss competition, but before the competition, there is more talk about Will and Uma and just how they're moving. And Will does say he wants to move to the next step with Uma, but again, he wants to go at her pace and be respectful. As I said, I just don't think the spark is there. I think slow burner can only work for so long because a slow burner still burns, right? Like they're still burning. Like I think if there's no progress, are you really a slow burner? So I don't know. Um, we have the kiss competition. Y'all already know. I only talk about the parts that I find interesting in these competitions. So Jess makes out with Connor. Oh, I, can't, I didn't hear a thing. Just come on, baby. So, so. <laughs> The island are that isn't your partner, you have the most sexual chemistry with. 
Yeah, come on, bro. Right here, I'm just gonna go for. Oh shit, man. <laughs> Diva. Oh shit. It's interesting. Ronnie is given a dare to snog two islanders he wants to share a bed with, and he does pick Jess and Matilda. But he says he is a changed, reformed man, so he's not snogging anybody. And I'm like, yeah, Ronnie. Okay, sure thing, man. Um, committed, changed man. That's what he he says. So Io has to snog the islander that he has the most sexual chemistry with that is not his partner. And he picks Uma. And as you can imagine... That does not go down well with Mimi, episode 19. So Mimi is upset. This is post-competition. Mimi is upset that Ayo is sexually attracted to Uma. She says that it's embarrassing for her. And I just... Why do you pick Uma? Yeah, I would just think, like, you pick someone like me or Jess or... Do you get it? One of the girls who've been here from the start. Like, it's shit... Uh, I just, I'm now I'm thinking, am I deep in it too much? I don't think so at all. That's just I weird. Would pick, if it was me, I would pick... I would pick Ayo or Ron. Respect. I'd pick Ayo or Ron. One of the boys who've been here... I don't... Like, girl, it was a game. Like, it was a game. Who else would he have picked? And I believe that Io even says later on when they're talking about it, like, who else would it have logically made sense for him to pick? Like, I obviously see and understand that Uma is still insecure about that whole situation. But... I don't know. It was just the game. Like, I don't think it means anything. It doesn't seem that Io goes for Uma. It also doesn't even really seem like Uma is into Io. Like, I don't think there's anything there with those two. Um, so the girls are also discussing why Ronnie didn't kiss Harriet. But they're, like, having this conversation, and they are shouting. And uh, it's just and... Harriet, they're talking, and she is shouting. Stop it. Who's acting? Who's acting? Oh. Who's acting? He's about to come over. Harriet, who's acting then? Well, oh, Ronnie Shear. No, come on. <laughs> I've met someone that I feel like I've got something with. That's an act. No. So who's acting then? Oh, not your business. Were you in this conversation? Okay, so who Were you in about? this conversation? Well, no, I can I hear I thought you were sat over there, actually. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, so go back over so there. So who's acting? Well, not your business. You're not in the conversation. Okay, so you're not talking... Ronnie actually goes over to her, and we see, like, Roddy and Tiffany's faces, and Tiffany's face is literally like... Like, Tiffany is literally like, what? So Roddy goes over, and he's like, who's fake? Who's fake? I'm fake because I like somebody? And I'm like, baby, not this man. <laughs> not this man trying to play in everyone's face. Um, so they storm away. Uh, Tiffany and Ronnie, they end up storming away. And they go into, like, the guy's uh, bedroom. And they're, like, talking to the guys about how, you know, Ronnie was called an actor by them. And, oh, my God, it's crazy how he's an actor because he likes someone and I'm like Ronnie all you've done is play everyone you can't just be like oh now I like someone karma karma's a B though let me tell you so Ronnie Ronnie continues to talk about how he's being called an actor for actually liking someone and then Harriet like tries to go over and pull him for a chat and he literally doesn't answer he's like hmm so, Io and Joey are having a conversation after the competition because, as you know, Io's in some hot water with Mimi. Um, and he says that he could have kissed any girl in the villa, but he did not. And, you know, he says he had a connection with Uma, but it stopped. And as they're talking, Mimi, like, walks over and then just kind of walks away. She's obviously very upset. And I I'm gonna be honest, I don't get it. I don't really get it because it's like, it's a game. I think anybody that Io picked, Mimi would have felt the same way. So, I, it was a trap. It's a trap. He could have been like the reform committed man that Ronnie is, though. Um, so, Omar and Matilda are flirting, and then Sean walks over and steals her. Okay, Sean is Mr. Steal Your Girl now. I know what it is. Hello, you two. Hi, hey, beautiful. 
All good, all good. Yeah. That's why I was eating my tilda off. My little chit chat. Cool, by any means. Lovely to chat to you, my love. Yeah, See you later. You. Where do you want to go, babe? Come with me. Sean just pulled on. So Sean and Matilda, Sean was very, very nervous. And it makes me wonder if Sean was like someone that was like kind of like an ugly duckling when he was younger. But then as he's gotten older, he's like clearly attractive, but he doesn't know how to navigate that yet. That's the vibe I get off Sean, that he does not not know how to navigate that he's attractive. Because I don't know, he doesn't make moves like he's someone that's been attractive his whole life. Um, so he did want to kiss her, but... She says it is way too early. Matilda says it's just the first 24 hours. She's still getting to know them. And she basically rejects it for the kiss. And I'm like, oh, this is so awkward. And poor Sean's like, yeah, it's too early. As he's like looking at the floor. Um, and yes, I understand it is the first 24 hours. Sean or whoever, I think it's fair for Matilda to say, like, I want to get to know people. But I don't know. At the same time, these people always kiss in this show so i'm just like uh, is it is it something so the next morning matilda says that she is getting on with both guys equally but she did like how sean pulled her when she was talking with omar because it kind of was him marking his territory didn't love the wording but i i saw what she meant um but she did say that she kind of wants to fall back on that next day and see who comes to her. So Sean and Omar do end up having a chat about him pulling her away. Last night I was I was definitely a bit yeah. jarred from like yeah because like I'm just trying to do my little thing. No, you know what I'm course, saying? Like course, if I'm just trying course. to do my little thing, just let let me do it in it. Like yeah yeah yeah. Because otherwise, what's the point in everyone trying to have conversations with girls, bro? I mean, listen, sometimes you gotta go with well, obviously what you think, but yeah, bro. For me, I'm just not I'm not on. Basically. Sean or Omar is basically saying like, look, if we are constantly pulling each other out of conversations, nothing will ever happen. There will never be a conversation had. Like, I get that you like her and I like her and we like the same guy, but like, it's never going to go anywhere if you just always pull her, if I always pull her while in the middle of a conversation. And it's clear that Omar felt some type of way. Like, I don't know if he was trying to intimidate Sean. I don't know if he felt like he had big cojones right there or something. Cause baby, I, I was like, what is this? But like the principle I understood, but I was just like, damn, <laughs> I don't know. So Harriet and Sean are talking about how Ronnie claims he's a changed man. Um, but Harriet is like, he's acting. Which he is acting like, okay, Ronnie. Yeah. Mm, okay. Whatever. Sean uh, does say it is weird though, because all eyes were on him and he acted in a way where that wasn't like him when he kind of like went to confront her, which I thought was weird. Cause I'm like, that's not Ronnie. Like, I mean, I guess him being that vocal and being that loud. Sure. Um, and Ronnie and Tiffany are also chatting. And, you know, Ronnie claims he's a changed man. You know, he keeps saying he's this change reform man. I'm like, you know, if you say something enough, you'll manifest it, right? You know, keep saying it, keep saying it, and it will manifest into reality. Um, they do have this weird conversation where Tiffany asks Ronnie when the last time he had sex was. And he said that it was like the end of last year. And then she like doesn't believe him. And then he asks her... Um, and she also says that she had sex at the end of last year. Like they both are like, oh yeah, December. And I'm like, this is just a weird question. Like, why do you know and have it off the top of your head? I also feel like, what is the answer you expect in that conversation? Like if he said none, would you think it was weird? Like, I don't know. I always think that's a very like strange question. It's different than being like, when was your last relationship? It's like, when did you last have sex? Like, I don't know. I just didn't get what answer she wanted um but ronnie does in his confessional say that tiffany is good energy and she is different from jess and harriet all right so mimi and io they 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 kind of you know they get they get together there picks that would have made sense i don't understand it was nothing serious like it's a game isn't it and like 
I've made that decision in the moment because then I thought about the question and then I'm like, OK, I can't kiss you, so there's only one other person here that I've had a connection but with. But do you not think that would have made me think, like... No, I Because there was I, a situation I, I there, think. and that's where it's coming from. I would have thought you'd have thought about it a bit. And Mimi is basically saying, like, she... He could have kissed somebody else in the game. And I was like, it would not have made sense to kiss somebody else. And I, I like, I don't know. I think Mimi is just mad either way. It seems like Mimi would have been mad no matter who it was, because I promise you, if he kissed another girl, then it would have been another thing where it's like, oh my God, does she like him? Does he like her? Does he like her? Oh my God, is he going to talk to her? So I don't know. I just am not buying that Mimi was so cool and okay with him kissing anyone else but Uma. But in either case, he does apologize he continues to reassure her that he wants to be with her and i don't know i just feel like in this car in this relationship there has to be so much reassurance all the time understandably so but it's still like it seems like it's on the shakiest foundation so we see a shot with grace and joey and grace basically says she'd get to know omar if joey wasn't there but they basically confirm that the two of them have a good thing going uh Grace is not really interested in getting to know Miguel. That's basically all. So Harriet is continuing to give Sean advice about Matilda. You know, it, it's just ridiculous. Joey also gives advice to her, him and it's like, pull her now. Like, don't wait, pull her. And so he does actually go and pull her basically right that second and they go talk. And I don't know. I hope we see it for the two of them. I... I really hope we see it. Um, Sean is a little awkward, but I, I think it could be there. Um, and lastly, we end off with a conversation between Tiffany and Nicole. So he's a screen to be around, <laughs> but you also need more than that. You know, I literally can't put my finger at it. Something just, I don't know. Something you just not, you're not a hundred percent there. But yeah, but I don't know what, what is it? What it is. Why? Tiffany reveals that she's not a hundred percent there with Ronnie. She does not want to continue to pretend. And she feels like it's really only a surface level relationship with Ronnie. She says it's a lot of jokes. It's a lot of fun, but there's no deeper getting to know him. And she actually says at this point, she is not feeling sexual chemistry so she basically tells us she's not feeling it. Mr. I'm a change committed man is about to have the skirt skirt from his girl because she's not feeling it. And you know what? I see it. What do I think is going to happen? If, if Tiffany and Ronnie do break up, do I think he's going to get back with Harriet? Do I think Harriet would take him back? I do. I do. I think Harriet's one of those girls that's a lot of talk. But I think if Ronnie tried to spin the block, Harriet would, would jump in. That's what I think is going to happen. So I would say UK is starting to heat up again, okay? Because it had a lull. I think the thing is UK is a longer season than US. I think there's three extra weeks or something like that. So I think it's just because it's a longer show in the middle. It starts to kind of do-do-do, just float along. Um, but it's picking up again. So if you're not watching, I recommend watching. It's starting to pick up. And Casa Amor should be starting next week, right? So... Anyway, if you like this content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It inspires me to keep creating. It makes me, you know, continue to want to make these videos. And it lets me know that you guys like this content. These shows are so good. Please watch Love Island, okay? And as I said, if you're looking for recaps of the U.S. show, I also have those up. They are on my channel. I do have a full playlist called Love Island Recaps and Reviews. And that is where you can find all of the U.S. and U.K. recaps. I differentiate which is which. So you'll know what video you're watching. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.